lambast mediocrity. I am weary with the fight for justice in a world that shuts down the voice of victims. What do I mean? Christian people who have platforms they could use to aid God's wounded soldiers. That's why they have the platform, right? Wrong. How do they use their platforms to find the brokenhearted? How do they use their words to help lead them to healing? They use platitudes and Christianese jargon that keep it all covered up nicely. They present these little packages of all put together people with only peripheral references to any abuse. I'm sick of it. That is not how I believe God handles our situations. He knows us intimately. He desires deeply for our stories to be heard, expunged and healed. The church, by denying the horrific abuse that exists, layers us with shame, really. I'm tired of it. Here's another example. I want to run a campaign on Amazon to get my book in the hands of the souls that need it. Amazon denies my request. Here's their response. Quote, Please know the below content is prohibited for advertising. Excessive violence or gore, including but not limited to, overt references to or images implying or depicting rape and sexual molestation. At Amazon ads, we believe maintaining a high customer experience bar for the ads we serve helps us drive better results for our advertisers. And we have determined that some customers may not be comfortable with seeing these types of products." Unquote. So our experiences would make some of their customers uncomfortable. Unbelievable, really. I am tired of this approach to trauma. They say to us, you stay hidden while we live over here. We don't want your burden bleeding onto us. I'm really tired of it. I am not, however, tired of telling my story. It is the job of every Christ follower to help set the captive free. I intend to keep on marching. It is my destiny. It is my purpose. Ruthless witnesses come forward when victims begin to talk. Have you ever noticed that? It is why many victims stay quiet. They don't want to deal with being maliciously mocked. Oh, and I have been the receiver of much of it. My family has an entire campaign against me. My niece called it the I Hate Aunt Jody Club. Nothing is going to stop me. Period. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Psalms 35.1 Thank you.